Women represent half of all gamers globally. The video game industry has 61% men and 30% women. Half of all gamers? 30%? Half? I mean, if the title Gaming Gender Gap didn't give away what this article was about, the math skills certainly did. It's Forbes after all. Who would expect them to understand math, right? But it gets worse. I for one like to look at the actual studies and not the headlines. Which is where I discovered Betrayal. The study used for this was talking about male versus female game developers. I mean, obviously the number of game developers are representative of how many actually play the games, right? But this had me intrigued. They said half of all gamers are female. And the more I looked online, the more I found this 50-50 split to pop up. But then how the fuck do I only ever met 12-year-old teenage boys telling me to fuck my mom in my online lobbies? Something is off here and I wanted to know what the fuck is going on. The more I searched, the less sense it all made. US studies from 2023 saying it's almost exactly 50-50 over all platforms. They even proceeded to post the entire methodology of the study. How they did it, what they set up, etc. Only to end this whole Twitter thread with If that's not good enough for you, then feel free to block and ignore. Basically be a yes man or just fuck off, right? However, then I found studies done by the companies themselves, like this one, which that clearly states 86% of people who wanted to buy a Nintendo Switch were male. It was all a clusterfuck, but I found the answer. On the last place I expected it to be. Wikipedia. They started with the same 50-50 split thingy, but they went a bit deeper. You know, actually going to the source of the problem. The gender ratio differs significantly between game genres, and women are highly underrepresented in genres such as first-person shooters and grand strategy games. Now you could say that women are underrepresented feminist feminist term, term. in FPS games, or you could say that men are generally more interested in those games than women. Phrasing is very important. This is where we find the truth of the matter with this graph I found. On the left, in blue, you can see everything men like to play. And on the right, in pink, you can see what the girls like to play. They said it best in the description themselves. While men tend to gravitate toward competitive games, women gravitate toward games that are less competitive and tend to be played in a more enduring way. These include management simulation games, where players can build out an environment, social turn-based games, in which they can play over time with friends, and match-free bubble shooters. I actually had to look up what a match-free shooter is. It's basically that bejeweled kind of thing, where you have to match three things in a row, then they vanish. That's a match-free thing for you. You learn something today. And brain slash quiz games, to which users can frequently return when they have a few spare minutes. Well, fuck me! You're telling me that men like hard, competitive, military-based games like shooters and strategy games to overthrow whole empires where they can be the hero, Whereas women like softer real-life simulations and social-based quick games for in-between. What, what a, a fucking, fucking revelation. revelation! Men and women are different and they like different pieces of media. How has no one ever thought of that? Fuck. Of course it doesn't compute in the regular feminist's mind who thinks that men and women are the same on literally anything when they clearly are not. Any guy who's ever been with a woman knows that. I can't count the times I tried my wife to watch Star Wars with me. It's just... just doesn't happen. <laughs> it's like with the Barbie movie that did very well with female audiences, whereas most men didn't even want to see it. Guess what? If you make a piece of media for your target audience, they might actually fucking like it. Honestly, I feel dumb saying this because it's so blatantly obvious, but with so much bullshit going on in the world right now, I think I kind of have to point the obvious out so everyone understands it on a base level. This reminds me of that video where teenage boys anonymously reported their porn addiction. One guy said he thought he was trans because he was into trans porn. Not realizing that due to the novelty factor in porn, your brain just needs ever more extreme stuff. So he wasn't trans at all, he just needed crazy or shit because he was watching so much porn. Young guys need help from his man. So please share this video with your buddies and help a brother to see the truth in games and what is happening around it. Yes, a lot of women play video games, but they're not playing the same games men play. Hence why you rarely see them in your online lobbies. Which brings me to the next obvious fucking point in this. Why female characters in games are sexualized. Now granted, as a former porn addict, I'm not a fan of overly sexualized characters in games. And we can have a discussion about bikini armor, of course. But there is a difference between this and this. And why Stellar Blade will be a massive hit. Is it because the protagonist is a hot female? Yes. The gameplay doesn't look specifically innovative. It's a monster slashing game with a strong female lead. And I mean hot female lead. These games generally revolve around looking good, aesthetic state-of-the-art graphics, a cool story, hopefully, and having some fancy fights with monsters in between. Not every game is designed to increase your IQ or question your existence. After all, as Gabe said, 
Games are for fun. But you've seen in recent years how female characters in games have been proceedingly made ugly and genderless. The idea was to cater to a more diverse, diverse. audience. Specifically women because they apparently don't like to look at other sexy women. That's funny, I asked my wife about that and she just said, well, it's just a heroic fantasy. Something you can play in the game. Everyone knows it's not real. No shit, if you actually raise your girls right and be a parent for once to look at what they consume on a daily basis, you might raise intellectual, good and beautiful women. I'm well aware I'll never look like Kratos, but I know it's a fantasy to live out in a game. I don't know about you, but I feel like Instagram and TikTok gives our girls a much worse beauty standard than games. And these women are doing it themselves. So where is the toxic male gaze there? <laughs> <laughs> now does this mean we shouldn't pave the way for women to be playing more games? Fuck no. Dude, I would love to play and stream duos in the finals with my wife. It's a wet dream of mine, next to many other wet dreams. But frankly, she couldn't be bothered. About the gaming, I mean, of course. But much like most women, she's not interested in shooters or climbing an artificial ladder without any fucking meaning like I do. Yes, there are women playing shooters, much like some guys like these soft puzzle games, but they're the minority. And if you keep catering to the minority, that is fine, but don't be surprised if your games don't sell. And certainly don't blame the majority for it when they clearly told you. So what's the solution, you ask? Let the market decide. You want more men to buy your video games? Make the female characters beautiful, the males strong and based with a heroic or competitive spirit. You want more women to buy your video games? Make them social based simulations where they can interact and have fun with each other. In other words, how about you stop hating your audience and give them what they want? Fuck, it's basic business 101 to do more of what works well and please the target audience. You cannot please everyone if you want to sell a product, you gotta niche down. Like, you hear this everywhere. Disney didn't get this memo. And so didn't many other gaming companies. Shift Up and Stellar Blade are rocking this. Unless Sony ruins it, they might actually censor it. I hope they don't. And if the massive amount of videos on Stellar Blade and its likely success because of it isn't a clear sign what the audience wants, then I don't know how to help you. So the gamer girl that tries super hard to play your CS and card but gets stopped by all the over-sexualization and the man oppressing her is a myth. Women do play games, of course, lots of it, but rarely the same ones as we do. As long as developers try to please everyone at the same time instead of focusing on the wants and needs of different groups differently, modern games will proceed to suck. That's it for now, my fellow keyboard warriors. It is time for some spiels.